All right, everyone. So Boston College is taking on Missouri, which is going to be a fantastic game. So we have two teams here that are not only 2-0 straight up, but they're also 2-0 against the spread. So we'll start by giving you the odds. So Boston College is plus 14.5. Missouri is minus 14.5. The total for the game is 52.5. On the money line, Boston College is plus 455, and Missouri is minus 625. So as we always do, we're going to now give you the argument for both sides, right? So why could, what is the argument for Boston College covering and what's the argument for Missouri covering? So we're going to start with Missouri. Well, listen, Missouri has just been a dominant, dominant team. Okay, they, they put up 51 week one. They won 51-0. Second week, they put up 38-38-0. Um, the defense has been dominant, hasn't let up a single point. They've been you know good enough offensively obviously scoring 51 and 38 although they haven't played necessarily top talent um yet but that's i mean look that's just they could not have had a better start they're at home right that is going to be a big thing and the other thing is going to be we really don't know what boston college is yet boston college is 2-0 but considering how fsu has looked since they played you know considering how uh fsu has looked how much stock do we put in that win? I think you can still put a lot of stock in it, but we just don't know yet. Now, they did win their second game, but I do think Missouri's at home. They've been dominant so far. Boston College, just we don't really know what they are quite yet. But I do think, you know, everything's pointing to they're a pretty good team. All right, now what's the argument for Boston College? Well, the first one, which I think is the biggest one, is the spread here, you know, so the spread now has moved actually away from Boston College. So that is a little bit of a, of a problem. It's now at around 14 and a half. When we first looked at this game, it was actually, you know, 16 and a half. But still, with that kind of, you know, with that kind of um, points, you're getting a pretty good thing here, right? So if Boston College is at, all, is at all good, they should be able to cover 14 and a half. But that's the question. And when I mean at all good, I don't mean are they a good or bad football team. I mean, in comparison to some of the top teams in the you know college football world, how good is this team? So this is one argument. They're getting points. If this is a close matchup, obviously, you know, you're getting two touchdowns there. So Missouri is really going to have to blow them out for that. And then same thing that we said for Missouri you know, Boston College, if they're as good as advertised, Missouri's going to have a tough time covering that spread. It's just it's just what's going to happen, right? They're going to have a tough time. If FSU, if that win is as impressive as it initially looked, it's going to be a tough time for them. And so, you know, those are kind of the two arguments, I think. And we'll recap them here. So Missouri, right, you know, we don't really know how good Boston College is yet. Missouri hasn't let up a point. They've been absolutely dominant. They're at home. That leads you, you know, to side with them. Boston College, they do have a big win over a team that was expected to be pretty good this year. And, you know, listen, 14 and a half points, you're getting points with that. So now we move to the total. You know, the, we would, wouldn't play a total in a game like this, but I will say we'd lean towards the under just because I have a feeling, you know, that this is going to be an uglier game. That I don't think this is going to be a game that's like, you know, uh, 42 to 38, right? This is going to be a game I think that's pretty ugly. I think both teams are going to be playing well defensively. I think offenses are going to have to fight for everything they want. And you may say that leans towards obviously a plus point, right? Instead of betting, you, you may say that's an argument for Missouri or, or against Missouri in terms of covering. But I, I actually don't think that. I think you can have an ugly game where Missouri wins 21 0 or 21 3. You know what I mean? So I, I would just side with the under here just based off the fact. I think this is going to be a pretty ugly game. Now, on the money lines, you know, look, if you really think Boston College is going to pull a massive upset, plus 455 is certainly playable. Um, minus 625 on Missouri side, definitely not playable um, straight up, but you could put them in a parlay if you really wanted to. You also have, you know, this game could be your tease game, right? Because if, if you're, let's say you're like Missouri's going to win this and win this big, well, you could use Missouri now in a teaser of if there's another game you want to tease and you're like, okay, this one's kind of a lock. So we'll get you to, what would it, so it's 14 and a half. So it would get you to minus eight and a half. Uh, or you could do the other side, right? You could say, look, I don't know if Boston College is going to be able to keep it under 14, but I know they can keep it under 20. Then you can move it to plus 20 and a half. So the money line for Missouri isn't really playable here at minus 625 but this could be a game where you look at it and you go you know what i'm going to tease the game so thank you all for watching and we'll see you next